All right, guys, I'm gonna start today's video off with a fun fact. I don't know if you knew this or not, but my dad's name is Michael and his last name is Jack. So that only makes me Michael Jack's son. <laughs> Damn. Fun fact, I went on a walk today in those vans, which was the worst idea on the planet. I was like five minutes into my walk, I was like, why did I wear vans? Because now there's these fat, it hurts really bad to walk now. Oh, look at that. Ow. I think it's on both. Look at that. Like, yeah. Ow. Ow. I got the toolie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're playing this game. How far can you lean and then come back? Bro, what? Because Rob was doing it and I was like, inspired by Michael Jackson. Billy Jean. Oh, yeah, the socks halt. Socks Jean. Okay, so here's my attempt. Ready? So I don't know how to measure it, but here's my attempt. <laughs> Ready? That was pretty crazy. Oh, no, I didn't go back though. Here we go. <laughs> Let me try it sideways. Ready? Yeah, I'm like Michael. Do the leaning thing. The leaning game. All right, ready? Lean with a rock with up, down, up, down. Okay. So we're starting to make up our own games because we're going crazy in the apartment. And here's the thing. We can leave the apartment. We just haven't yet. Yeah. All right, so here's another game you guys can do at home. How far can you lean without falling? Well, as you know, I'm 50% black. Black culture is all about dance. Yeah, I can stand behind that. And rhythm. So really, I got it. Let's see it. I'll do the same spot you did. Okay. Now wait a minute, because I need it, it's my first time doing it. That was pretty good. Okay, and now let's see diagonal. It's hard. Oh, that... <laughs> Your toes really got to grasp the floor. That's hard. One, two, three. <laughs> my does that look dope or not? Nah? Yeah, does that look cool on camera? <laughs> we like, all right, we go up to a girl, tap on her shoulder, and then, who are you guys? <laughs> we, we come up to two girls. Hey, what's up? Let me come back. No, no, I'm sorry. Hey, we lean forward. Hey, ladies, would y'all like a kiss? Wait, you know, I know this thing. I used to do this on my dance team. I probably can't do it because if somebody that's bigger would have to do it. You would have to hold my legs here and then I would lean back this way. Let's try it. And then I come up. I could go far. You have to be I, strong though. Let's attempt it. I could do it. Your hand though. Oh yeah, let's not try that yet. Yeah, I was gonna, I'll give it a go. I mean, you said strong. Daddy. I'm on the ground. Yeah, okay. I'm not that heavy. How much do you weigh? Uh, I weigh like 150 something. I weigh 175, I think. No ways. I'm 196. I'm a hefty boy, so. Oh! Hey, but muscle though. Y'all know. <laughs> this might look a little weird. So let me just not Wait, look up. So don't try to look anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see any any Lopez peanuts. Get a better grip, like really like around it. Maybe use your arms. Maybe that. What, what they're doing looks so ridiculous. Imagine I was just like in my room, going to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, let's attempt it. All right. attempt. Guys, you guys are about to witness me do the Michael Jackson lean all the way down and come all the way up. I'm going to have my nose touch the ground and then come back, back up. Ready? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on, lean up, lean up. Ready, three, two, one. Okay, okay! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty far. Oh, right. That was good. That was good. <sighs> oh! Thank you. Wait, I noticed something. Guys. <laughs> Don't break your hand. <laughs> Speaking of hands. Speaking of hands. So guys, as you know, I went through a traumatic experience filming a video where I punched the pillow and injured myself. It was called a boxer's fracture and then I had to get a whole cast and I had to wear that for an entire month. But the day finally came yesterday where I served my time. Oh. Hey. So my hand is now out of the cast. It's not fully healed yet. I have to wear this brace every night while I go to sleep. And they said in three weeks, my hand will be officially healed, but I still get a little bit of aches on my wrist just because the strength is completely gone. And my hand's a little bit more pale on this side, but it should come back within time. And they said no lifting weights, no push-ups. I was like, I could do that. I legitimately try to put my hands on the ground and do a push-up. I fell within four seconds, my wrist, it felt like it could snap real quick. I was like, damn. So I really do have to build up this strength. So there's that. I just want to take a moment to appreciate all the things I can finally do again with this hand. Let's get to it. But I want you close. So 
So guys, when I had the cast, they had my hand propped back so far that I couldn't even hold the mouse down and edit flat surface like I usually do. So we have this cooking tray that I took from the kitchen that we like make bacon and eggs on. And I had to have my hand propped up and edit with this noise for every video. Pretty innovative though. Definitely innovative with an Amazon packaging box that just happened to have the proper incline. But now, get out of here. I can edit the right way. The last thing I want to show y'all is this brace that they gave me. This is what I'm supposed to keep my hand in for the next three weeks while I go to bed. Boom. And yep, now I'm Mr. Handicap again. I asked Ryan to get me a freaking razor today. Because my other one, I jammed it up doing something stupid. <laughs> it, was just, it was like a malfunction and stuff, so it doesn't even work anymore. Hair got stuck. I don't know what it was. Last smash cut to Noah. <laughs> um. um. It's caught in the, <laughs> caught in the jungle. <laughs> Who designed these? They were, these are, careful with that wrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. How did he get his thing open? And he had the broken hand. Almost there. Bro. Dude, dude, it's, where's the, is there tape on it? Huh, free. Done. See, that's why I didn't get a tape. This is what happens when you're an adult on Christmas. You get nothing. And you buy your own gifts. You know, I thought about that as I've gotten older. I've wanted less for Christmas. True. But I do miss the surprises. I do. Like when you, there's something you want and then you get that thing, you're like, how'd you know? Like, I know what I want every other day of the year, except for the time I'm told, what do you want? Do you even remember what you got back in the day? I don't even remember. I remember a Y'all don't know this, but I gotta find them. If I log in old Facebook, you and me used to send each other our Christmas list. Really? Yeah, I remember you were like, I feel like I do remember that. What'd you get? Did you guys ever hit up your friends like, hey, what'd you get for Christmas? Yeah, if you can find it, we'll definitely be- That would be funny. Rob put me on to one blade for the face, see? Oh, yes, daddy. Oh, I just broke it. These were 60 bucks. Did I just, wait a minute. No way. It's not broken, Rob. How could it be broken? Just push it back in there. Yeah, they're like this. Bro, I'll look back at some of the stuff I said when I was on a Facebook messenger in 20, 2013, I don't know. I was like, damn, I talk like that? So, damn. I need some water, geez. I just logged into my Facebook account that I don't use. I haven't posted on here since 2014 when I was in high school. I went and found my message thread with Ryan and I have every single message since we had Facebook. So there's definitely some interesting things, but we found one funny conversation so far. This is from 2012, December 22nd. 2012. Eight years ago. How old were we? Eight years ago. I'm 22 minus eight. Minus, minus eight, Rob. <laughs> you know that. You took math in college, not me. 22 minus eight, I can do that in my head. I don't, I can't do that. 14? All right, we were some age. Who knows? Anyway, so this message says from Ryan, I just bought two girls Rhino Soccer 2 shirts and they were going to pay when I give them the shirt. I said, awesome. Are they hot? He said, yes and yes, sir. But it's friend zone hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was I on? <laughs> Friend zone hot? What does that even mean? <laughs> that? People don't even, might not even understand what Rhino Soccer 2 is. Rhino Soccer 2 was the name of my Instagram and YouTube channel at the time. So I made Rhino Soccer 2 shirts that were dope, admittedly, but I guess gave them the two girls and they paid me for them. And that was, I guess, a come up for me. <laughs> <laughs> you had to go tell Noah. I, girls got the <laughs> We used to Skype all the time. Ryan said, get on Skype. Uh, what is this? I guess we were talking about shoes. Let's see. Okay, so. I was on some weird girly stuff and hit Ryan with, hey. Oh, whoa. With, with 50 Y. Why did I hit you back with, <laughs> buddy, with 20 Y. Oh, so I guess I was asking Ryan which shoes I should get. He said, the first ones are better. Um, I said, that one or this one? It was like. I love them all, no homo. Uh, but when I saw three kids with the green ones, so those are number three, or Statue of Liberty number two and LeBron. So we just give me some feedback and then I said send me like two magic trick links that you got on your list so we were in high school still buying magic tricks for Christmas and now we know why we had friend zone hot girls yeah we <sighs> buying magic tricks is like I, I still want to get some like I would do stuff it was like a little skill that I learned that I still do on people it's a pretty simple little deception thing but I'm like hey man see this here let me give this to you oh it's gone. <laughs> oh, I still got it. <laughs> then I noticed at the end of the text, Ryan goes, G2G, text you in 30 minutes. G2G, got to go. I haven't said that since. I don't know. This message personally is where I was in the era of I wore like the craziest shoes and Ryan said, I asked him, should I get the green shoe or the, the LeBron shoes? He goes, I mean, I personally would get the LeBron 9. However, you are Noah Boat, AKA one of the 12 disciples of shoes. So you would probably rock the Statue of Liberty color better. You're above the normal. So <laughs> I just find that so funny. I, and I could have never fathomed ever saying something like that. <laughs> 
And yet there I am, blasting on the Facebook messages. And the fact that my memory, like I don't even remember all those conversations at all. Then again, I have the memory of a goldfish as it is. Okay, more cringe Some coming more up. more gems here. So I guess there was a whole month gap where me and Ryan weren't talking and I said, hey man, what's up? I haven't talked to you in a whole month. Rhino says, word brother. <laughs> How are your red beats working for you? By the way, thanks again for the business cards. Tons of people know about my videos now. Did I make you business cards? You must have made me business cards for my YouTube channel at the time. And a tons of people know my videos now. <laughs> Tons of people. How many subs we have at this time of the message? A hundred maybe. But yeah, the red beats are awesome. I listen to them like every day and I have your beats in my room still untouched. Don't worry. <laughs> I want to come over. Hey, are you free on Friday tomorrow? Because I'm not doing anything till three. I'm pretty sure I'm free tonight. Oh, and has your blonde Walmart girlfriend talked to you? I said, are you available tonight, Thursday into Friday? And no, that Emma girl, no. Don't you see? I already have a girlfriend. Ha, look at my profile to who I'm married to. She's... Okay, I'll just stop there. <laughs>